Welcome to my second Project Life Presses video. This week I'm working on the second week of October 2017. I'm, I've got my pages spread out. I have two 12x12s and two 6x8 inserts. I'm currently picking out what embellishments I want. I know I want something to write on because I'm going to do some journaling on the photos since I'm kind of out of space on the, page, on the individual cards. I'm picking out Ali Edwards' time kit as basically the set of embellishments I'm going to use on this spread, plus some pieces from Ellie's Studio Let's Eat and the chipboard stickers from Ali's Eat kit. I also have some Tim's, Tim Holtz little tiny uh, alpha stickers. They're like white lettering on black. And I'm trying to pick, decide what I want as my like journaling spots for on top of the photos. And I tried out some two inch white circles that I just punched out of cardstock. Uh, but I'm gonna go with these uh, rounded corner rectangles from Ali Edwards details kit. She's done a couple of things like these in like, so I subscribed for just over a year. Uh, and she's had a number of these like cardstock things. And this is the first time I think I'm using any of them except for the uh, like the two and a half inch circles with the writing around the edge. And so my plan is to try to use these embellishments on the whole layout so it looks sort of pulled together. What I'm struggling with at that right there is how to cover up the edge of the details given that I want to have it far enough over that some of the tech, the, some of the printing is going to be on there, but I don't want enough of it that it'll make sense or, and I don't want to do the right edge because I want it on the left edge of the photo. I'm gonna go with a little black cardstock, uh, sorry, chipboard sticker there. I'm gonna journal about uh, having dinner with our friend. We are going to a new restaurant. Uh, the let's eat there is gonna go over in the uh, negative space. I'm looking up the day we went so I can write it down at the beginning of the journaling. Just, you know, an account of us going out to eat. Uh, I like the sort of the a cluster at the bottom left edge and a cluster in the top right corner because they're both kind of negative space and one of them feels much closer to the other so it emphasizes what's already going on in the photo. I'm using the rest of the part that I cut off of that rectangle to be a little blank journaling spot like I'm using the back as the journaling spot for this other photo paired with a different one of those rubber phrases from the Ellie Edwards time story kit. So I'd already, I'd always been planning to do this but so I'm swapping out some of the journaling spots, journaling cards for photos that are going to have journaling on them from the other, that were in the other page protector. The journaling on the black and white cards, those are all from the Midnight Edition, uh, Becky Higgins, uh, and I did the writing during the week, and so now I just needed to spread them out. So that's a photo of me falling asleep that my boyfriend took, uh, writing about how he, he didn't realize I wasn't wearing my sleep mask, which is why he use the flash on me. Uh, and I almost put an embellishment on the other uh, 3x4 card. Those are, all of these photos are from Person Picky Prints. Uh, those are the 3x4 retro prints on smooth cardstock. Uh, so I like journaling at the bottom of those. It's sort of like an easier version of putting a 3x3 photo and sticking cardstock at the bottom. So I'm going to put the uh, October 9th to 15th in the sky on this daytime cities photo. I really like the way this turned out. Turned out. It's probably my favorite card on the layout, to be honest. I mean, I like some of the other ones, but this one is just like, I really like that one. Like maybe the text could be a little lower looking at it now, but I just really like that card. I like the aesthetic of those those letters on like directly on photos. So you'll see me do it a lot more on the other half of the page. I'm flipping those because I like that the the white arrow pointing towards another photo, as opposed to pointing off the page. I'm going to leave the finished journaling cards in there. I don't really embellish them more than they have a title on them and that's it. So now I have four 4x6s four to finish and two 3x4s. Uh, I was going to use this photo, but I asked my boyfriend what, what it was because it was like a photo he took at a dance that I didn't go to. Uh, and he was like, oh, I don't really know those people. It's not a great photo. I don't think it belongs in the scrapbook. So I was like, okay. And so this is me like picking out a 4x6 journaling card. And I figured I'd use one of those detail rectangles uh, as a place to write on it so I could use one of my pattern cards that I have trouble using. 
Uh, and I tried for a while with this, but I couldn't get the uh, I couldn't get the wristband. That's what the red thing is, the wristband from the dance, to totally cover up the blank white spot at the bottom of the card. Uh, I tried for a while. I tried covering up with a wet rectangle, but I didn't like the way that looked. I like the rectangle centered inside the 4x6, or I mean, as centered as I can manage. I'm not very good at centering things. So I found this, the reason I picked this uh, gray, sort of soft gray and white stripe is that the, the white space at the bottom was narrower, so I could actually cover it entirely with the wristband. Um, so I think I'm, I'm, so I'm inking the edges to make this stand out more from the background because I didn't like how it was fading in. None of the other rectangles are inked on the edges, just this one. Uh, and so I wrote about, so I, I'm picking an embellishment to go on this. I ended up with a uh, chipboard circle uh, from the time kit. Uh, then I'm going to journal about boyfriend dancing and how much he loves dancing, basically. Uh, I think, I don't remember whether I put uh, the black st stickers to make a title on this one. I might. Or that one might be done and I'm working on another card. Oh yeah, I'm putting, so I'm putting China Cafe, there's my boyfriend on the right, or sorry, on the left. Uh, China Cafe, which is where we ate, and then I'm going to pair that with a chipboard sticker from the from Allie Edwards' Eat Kit. And a star from the Ellie Studio Let's Eat. Which I also really like that card. I guess I like my photos with like, some of them that can like hold something in the middle, or like, just sort of centered without any journaling. I like those a lot. I mean, I like the, the it's important to have the story in there, but I, I just sort of like the, the ones that look like it could be in a magazine. I'm using the edge of the sticker sheet to line up the letters, sort of make sure I have all of them in order before I start putting them down, and also to get them a little straighter than I would otherwise. This is a photo of me being excited about a milkshake from Shake Shack. Uh, so I'm going to write a bit about like my boyfriend bringing back a milkshake for me by surprise, uh, and how excited I was about it. And that's another one of those details rectangles. I'm excited about using them because I've had them for a while. Uh, and they look good on the spread, but also I'm just like relieved that I found a way to use those cardstock shapes that I have. So this one I'm gonna write down for the top one, the four by six on the top right. I'm gonna write down where we were. Oh, this is I'm working on. I got a tag. This is a tag from some long underwear I bought. So I'm gonna write down that I'm ready for winter. Uh, and then I'm gonna write down like some notes about why I like this one in particular. So I got the ready for ready, and then I'm pulling out some sort of icy blue uh, letters to spell out winter. These, the, uh, the little black ones are the Tim Holtz ones I've been using all over the spread, and then the icy blue ones are Allie Edwards. I think this card worked out really well, actually. I, I mean, I like the, the I, basically everything I put those little black letters on. I like a lot, uh, and I'm not totally happy with the blue. I feel like it's not it's sort of like dull blue or baby blue, not su super icy. Uh, but I had room to journal too, which was a nice bonus, so I can remember why I thought these were like neat. Uh, the card in the back is I got a pack of three by four uh, midnight colored journaling cards from Becky Higgins. Oh, now I'm putting the the letters out for the location of the uh, where we were in the top right 4x6. Uh, we'd done something through Open Open House NYC. We went to see the uh, West Beth Artists Housing uh, because it used to be a Bell Labs location. Of course, the tour guide like has lived there and talks, talks mostly about the artist housing portion of it, but it's still really neat to see the insides of the building. Especially when they showed us some of the like what used to be like an executive office for Bell Labs, it was gorgeous. So I think that I pulled out the date stamp, so I was putting dates on things. Uh, a couple things got dates there. Uh, oh, this is where the star comes out. So a star, a star, and then I'm gonna put the two hearts on too, which are everything except the brown star on that sheet I use. Oh, so it took me a while to figure out uh, what to do with the NOM sticker. Uh, I ended up with it next to the milkshake, uh, but I, it did take me a while. 
That's the journaling about the long underwear. Uh, there's going to be some journaling about the milkshake and some journaling about uh, my boyfriend dancing. Uh, but we're most of the way through this. Those are since like most of the journaling I did during the week. I like that because when I journal during the week, I get sort of a different perspective than I'd have afterwards, since like I don't know what happens next, I'm still in the middle of everything. It also means that when I'm like in the middle of things, I can write down what I'm thinking, and then later I can just be more designy. So now I've mostly finished the insert. Uh, I didn't have the camera on, sorry guys. Uh, and so now I'm, this is me putting some journaling on a photo of me. I don't usually wear hats, so like these two photos uh, are sort of me wearing the baseball cap I brought back from Disney World for my boyfriend. And so this is generally about, you know, I put the hat on and I was hanging out before he came home and he like immediately came home and took a photo, which was basically the direction I was hoping for. Also on this insert you can see here, uh, top left is service thing, they, they came in and fixed some stuff in our apartment, so I cut that down to 3 by 4 Not really well, it's, it's very wobbly. Uh, and then on the right, uh, it's a tag from my boyfriend's new backpack that he got the same time I got the long underwear. And then on the right, it's uh, that other one is more photos from uh, Sunday when we were hanging out with friends. Oh, so this is me back, I'm trying to decide what to back the service request with, and so I got that. Uh, I'd already done this side of the insert. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to put anything else on there, and I don't. Uh, I also have, I'm deciding, so when I do six by eights, I often like to sort of spread them out so that they cover the whole 12 by 12. Uh, and so I was deciding what, which one I wanted to be above the other based on what it would expose. Uh, these guys actually ended up a little bit frustrating because there's some, there's like similar, I did similar cards repeatedly and the similar ones end up to, end up next to other similar cards. Like the four by six with the details centered on it, I did twice and they end up right above each other the way I, I'd end up putting the inserts. But I also didn't like them the other way because I want the photo showing when they're like, when you first look at the spread. So that's the whole thing. And this is way sped up, but here are the photos of the pages. I haven't figured out how to do pages so they show up better in iMovie. But this was really fun, and I didn't realize it was going to take me like literally two hours to make this spread, even without the stuff that I didn't film. Thank you for watching! Let me know if you have any recommendations. Bye!